Okay, so today we'll continue our last lecture about uh, connections in steel constructions. And uh, we'll start from the uh, uh, stabilizing the frame building when we um, need to use monolithic diaphragm wall in the building. So uh, in general, all uh, structures um, typ typically experience some uh, form of lateral loading during the design life. So um, typical uh, sources of lateral loads include forces due to wind blowing against the structure, uh, hydrostatic forces due to groundwater acting against basement walls, for example, or uh, initial forces due to round uh, motion, so earthquakes. Yes, so a uh, designer must uh, consider how to transmit this um, lateral loads safely back into the foundation. So uh, of the structure. So in the conte uh, context of building structures, there are several well-established schemes for facilitating this load uh, transfer. Uh, so in this, the first uh, two-part series of structural stability. So um, it means introduce this uh, structural scheme with diaphragm wall or without before giving into some uh, numerical examples uh, uh, what uh, uh, should be done to check the stability of the uh, construction. So, uh, and to deep explore uh, um, the details of uh, the um, uh, structural scheme, actually we need to understand when we uh, should to use, when we uh, just uh, can use uh, or see frame, um, uh, so shear frame, I mean, um, reinforced uh, wall uh, in the steel building. And uh, um, again to the connections. So uh, in the design uh, of beam to uh, column moment connection, uh, the principal uh, decision uh, to be made uh, are simple. So the thickness of end plate, um, the number and the size of bolts, um, whether the columns need uh, stiffening. So uh, however, um, the justification of design is uh, difficult. So correct um, elastic analysis uh, relies on uh, proper evaluation, um, prime forces, but prime forces are um, actually unpredictable. So uh, the va validity of plastic design is limited by possible um, lack of the joint ductility. So it's a, a difficult to develop the um, full plastic capacity on the section connection. So a particular approach uh, to design is developed in, in this uh, screen. So like uh, references um, used for uh, the design used for um, calculation, the same um, nodes, the same connections, actually uh, should show all the complex nature of behavior of uh, the connection and uh, of course should illustrate some of uh, possible failure nodes, uh, some uh, mistakes and so on. And also should um, include all um, metal construction drawings. According to that, we will have uh, the initial information about how to um, design the same connections like um, beam to uh, column connection. 
Um, so uh, here is the second view for this connection. So um, the moment connection uh, are designed to, uh, we, talk, we, we discuss about design it to transfer bending moments, uh, shear forces, sometimes uh, there are normal forces, um, the design strengths and the stiffness of moment connection are defined uh, in relation to strengths and the stiffness of the connected members. The uh, design strengths of a moment connection may be full strength, so it means uh, moment capacity of connection is equal to a large than capacity of connected member. So of partial strengths, uh, the moment capacity of the connection uh, less than of uh, the connected member. So uh, similarly, the stiffness of a moment connection can be rigid or uh, semi-rigid. Uh, comparing to the stiffnesses of connected member. So the rotation capacity of uh, the structure may be provided by uh, either connection or um, connected member itself. So um, more about uh, beam connections. We know that all beam connections divide into some uh, types according to the um, size, capacities, uh, date for seat connections, beams, and so on. So uh, in the um, picture 7.47, um, here is we can find uh, seat, uh, seat. Uh, stiffness seat connection. So uh, this connection showed uh, on the A, uh, on the picture A. And so unstiffness uh, seats showed in the B. So unstiffness uh, seats. Um, the capacity uh, is uh, limited by the bending strengths of uh, outstanding uh, horizontal leg at seat angle. And so in four, uh, in uh, leg one is uh, sick, generally is a uh, practical limit. And the stiffness seat. So this, um, this may be obtained with uh, either one or two stiffness angles so depending on load to be supported. So as a rule, uh, stiffness uh, with outstanding leads uh, having um, a width less than five uh, in, uh, are not connected together. So in fact, they may be separate, uh, separated um, to line up the angle gauge line, so recommended uh, central line of pastiness um, with one of the uh, column. So uh, capacity of the uh, stiffness seat is uh, less um, of the bearing strength uh, of the fitted angle stiffness or uh, shear resistance uh, of fastness in the vertical legs. So uh, strength of beam uh, web usually is not a deceiving factor because um, of ample seat area. So when the legs large than, uh, than five uh, in a wide um, that are required, so eccentricity should be uh, considered. And uh, Beam connection uh, is not consist only from uh, the um, seated uh, stiffnesses and uh, and stiffnesses, but also from the um, end plate connection. So um, the uh, welding makes 
feasible connection that uh, were not possible with uh, older type of uh, fastenings, so end plate connections. Um, show it in the picture 750. Uh, of the several variations, uh, uh, flexible type C has been uh, standardized. So uh, flexibility is uh, assured by making the end plate um, with one to four thick uh, when it's possible. Uh, such connection uh, in test exhibit rotation as uh, similar to the framework connections. So the weld connecting um, the end plate to the beam web is designed for shear. So there is uh, no eccentricity. Weld size and the capacity are limited by the shear strength of beam web uh, adjoining the weld. So effective length of weld is reduced by the twice weld size and allow for possible uh, deficiencies uh, and um, and the ends. So, as can be um, observed, this type of connection requires accurate cutting of the beam to lens. Also, the end plates must be squarely positioned uh, uh, and so as um, a meal of uh, or shop tolerances between them. So the plate connection is easily adopted uh, to resisting beam moments. Uh, it shows it uh, on the picture B and D. Or uh, different, however, uh, to its use for tall buildings where the column flanges are massive and the end plates thick then the uh, rigidity of the parts may uh, prevent drawings and the surfaces into uh, tie connect um, into tie con contact. So consequently, uh, it may be not uh, easy to make such connections uh, accommodate normal uh, meal or um, shop toler uh, tolerance tolerances. Special, special connections. Mm. Uh, in some uh, structural uh, frameworks, they may be, uh, there, uh, there may be uh, connections in which the standard type uh, from uh, one, to, so 7.35, uh, one to 7.45, five cannot be used. So um, it means that beam center may be offset from column center or intersection angles may be different from um, 90 uh, degrees, for example. So it will have some uh, inclined shape. So for some uh, skewed connections, the departure, uh, departure from the Perpendicular may be taken care by uh, slightly bending the uh, framing angles. So when the particular limit for bent angles is exceed, bent plates um, can be used. So the special one side angle connections uh, show on the picture B. Um, actually are generally accepted for uh, light beams yes, with the not so huge loads. So when, when such uh, connections are used, uh, the eccentricity of the fastener group of the outstanding leg should be um, taken into account. Lens, uh, lens one may be uh, reduced to the effective eccentricity. 
So uh, spun there or similar beams line it up with the column flange may be conventionally connected to it with the plate. The picture C and the D. C and D. <clears throat> uh, so the uh, fasteners joining the plate to the beam web should be capable of resisting the moment for the full level <clears throat> arm one for connection in the uh, figure C. So for uh, beams on both sides of uh, the column with the equal uh, reaction, the moments balance out, but um, but the plate sorry okay so um the picture uh, c um the uh, column uh, with um, equal uh, reactions, uh, the moment balance show it all. But uh, the case of life load um, on beam only must be um, considered. So, and, and um, bearing uh, and mind of uh, necessary of supporting the beam reaction is near uh, as to possible so to the column center and relief to the column bending stress uh, column connections column uh, splices in uh, the many story or multi-story uh, construction are uh, required to provide uh, the strength and um, continuity of the stiffness about uh, bo uh, both axes of the column. So typically bolted uh, column splices used for uh, rolled sections. So, and the hollow section members, uh, which are shown um, uh, here. So uh, splices are and um, typically provide every two or uh, three stories and are usually located um, approximately uh, so 0 0.6 meter or 600 millimeters above flow left so from the um, zero point for example so this uh, results in uh, convenient lens for fabrication, transport, uh, erection. So uh, gives the easy access from the adjusting floor uh, for bolting up on site. So the provision of splices at each story level uh, is seldom economical since the saving in color material is general for uh, outweighed by the material, by the fabrication, erection, uh, erection cost, or providing the splice. So the type uh, of splices um, consisting uh, of plates which are welded uh, to the ends uh, of lower and upper columns and then simply bolted together in on site so it's commonly used in tubular uh, construction but uh, also may be used for open section um, the most simple um, the most simple form of connection uh, showed in the uh, figure in right so uh, and the satisfactory as long as ends uh, of each 
uh, shaft uh, prepare the same way, way for bearing type, uh, type, uh, type splice. So possibility of load reversal should be considered. Uh, and uh, in addition of the stability during the erection and the tying requirements. Also a common used, uh, commonly used um, is difficult to demonstrate uh, cap and base uh, splices um, all are regulated by the uh, our national uh, normative documentations. Uh, all these types splices are used in common practice uh, to uh, ensure that plates are thick, the bolts are located close to flanges uh, to increase the stiffness of the connection. So extended plates with bolts outside as a profile of section also may be used. So cap and base plate splices located away um, from a point restraint. So the special consideration um, often are given on the drawings. Um, so how to... Uh, so for the purpose to ensure adequate stiffness and the member design is not uh, uh, evaluated. Um, next one is uh, the uh, category which I call it um, non-bearing type. Uh, it's transfer loads uh, where um, the bolts and splied plates. So any direct bearing between members is ignored. The connection sometimes being detailed with a physical gap between the two uh, shafts. So design of um, non-bearing splice is more involved, uh, involved as uh, all forces and the moments must be transmit through the bolts and the splice plates. So for bearing types. So all um, splices are generally provide just above flow levels due to the moment. Uh, column splices should hold the connected members in line. Um, so uh, wherever practical or members should be arranged so that uh, axis of uh, splice material uh, coincides the uh, centro uh, centroidal axis of the column section above and below the splice. So in this connection, um, columns, for example, um, to maintain the uh, constant e external line so the moment due to the eccentricity should be accounted for the <coughs> joint design. And the last uh, one for today, the design uh, fin plate connection uh, is important to uh, identify the appropriate line action uh, for the shear. There are two possibilities. Either um, the shear act to the face of the column uh, or it act along the central of the bolt group uh, connecting. So fin plate uh, connection derives the in play rotational capacity from the bolt uh, deformation in shear from the distor uh, distortion of the bolt holes in bearing uh, uh, is uh, out of plane bending fin plate. So um, an additional check to consider the uh, behavior is included into the uh, special design procedures for uh, fin plate connections. So uh, that's all for today lecture. If you uh, have uh, questions, I am ready to answer um, your questions. On next lesson, we will continue 
and we'll start from the uh, some information about construction processes. Okay. So today we have already finished with the connections. Beam uh, to column connection, beam to beam connection, and the column to column connections, which are all.